Hi guys, welcome to my video. So we're in the Jeep Liberty. This is a 2007 model. Um, so the problem I have is the fan. Something was works on number two, won't work on number one. Doesn't work on number three, works on number four. So I'm gonna show you how to fix that. Uh, you need to um, buy yourself a fan resistor for the uh, Jeep Liberty. Um, I'll put a screenshot up of the part. I mean, this this is the part, but I should put the screenshot up of uh, where I got it from. Got it off eBay, 20 quid. Um, so, I'm going to show you how to access and replace this part. So, bear with us, and we'll start the process. So, first off, you need to get into your glove box. So removing your glove box, you've got the little uh, bars just at the side here. If you just push on the front, you feel it come out and it was the same the other side. Can't see it, but yeah, that just comes out. You've got your hinges down there, so uh, you can just literally lift this off, which I can't do with one hand. So let's lift that off. And once you're inside, you can actually see the resistor there on the left hand side. You've got two um, bolts there. I'm using an 8mm to uh, undo them. I'll just do them loosely at first. And then there's another one you can just see just down there. So I'm going to get that one out of my fingers. And I might have to use a slightly uh, smaller one for the other one. Okay, now I've removed the two 8mm screws. Uh, hex head. Mine didn't have a screwdriver port on them. So now I can literally just get to this. And pull it out as you can see there it is uh, it looks okay it looks old um, but I'm gonna unplug that and put a new one in and then test it okay so getting this off was particularly difficult um, you can just see inside there I use a screwdriver to show there's a there's a little red lock locking tab on this which is now come off but you can see the upper little bit of plastic there and lifted that up and then managed to pull it out so when you look at the new one you can see let's uh, balance this so you can obviously see um, the connector inside the vehicle sits over and locks that in place because it goes around there so if you lift that up then you can slide this out um, but it was particularly difficult um, so now, obviously, got the old one out. I think it's seen better days. It does look quite old. So we're going to put the new one in and um, give it a test. So right, let's plug this in. Okay, so that's locked in place. The little black tab sitting back down again. Um, the extra red locking tab. I don't think there's any real need for it. I mean, it's difficult enough to get out as it is. Okay, so a moment of truth. Started the vehicle back up. You can just about hear it on number two now. Number three now. Obviously number four. Come back down. One is obviously, yeah, I can, I can feel it blowing out the top of the fender. now. So it is working, so that has worked. So I'm going to secure this back in place with the two screws um, and it's actually worked so quite pleased with that. Secure it in there, get the screws in hand tight. Two. slide this back in so it goes on runners and then just click into place so that's very easy okay and there you go job done that's how it's done uh, easy fix most difficult bit was trying to obviously remove the old connector <clears throat> from the um, from the connector in the vehicle uh, apart from that it was really easy so it's just saved you 150 quid Rather than go to the main agent.